Coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. Here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their turn. He's doing it on his turn. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight, but there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. If you see first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 142 pounds, fighting out of Oak Grove, Minnesota. Magnifico! And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Big leg kicks. Oh man, how 
How is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Going for the spinning side kick to the body, but he missed. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Oh, spinning back kick. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. And they separate. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, you see, he's trying to time that counter. Just misses. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Three minutes now to go in this one. Just misses with that one. Lee gets stung by that leg kick. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, he missed with that right hand. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Connects with the right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Switching stances here. <sighs> nice leg kick. Relax, relax. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Big roundhouse now, just misses. Back and forth we go. Oh, that'll get his attention. Nice counter on the uppercut. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's in the... Look at the turnover in that kick. That's a big strike right there. Beautiful leg kick thrown. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Effective strike there by Lee. Oh, yes, it is a lost art in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. And a beautiful double jab. That thing's throwing right from the chin, too. Oh, it's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. It probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed his kick with so much force. Slips the punch nicely there. Ten seconds. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. All right, so it was all about the liver kicks and the body attack in that previous round. DC, the highlight. The liver kick is a nasty kick because it only takes one to land in the perfect spot and it will shut your body down completely. You won't be able to stand. You won't be able to fight. All you want to do is exit the octagon. He better get his elbow down or his opponent's going to continue to take advantage of that weakness. Lee gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, nice knee to the body. Just what he needed there. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook.
That's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Well, that one should leave a mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by Lee. I'm an identical twin. Two is better than one. You might as well double up on the jab. He did so effectively there. Double it up with the jab, and you see his opponent's head popping back every time it lands. Now connects with the right. Big leg kick lands. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Big tall punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Good right hand. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice body kick right under the elbow. There's no give on that leg kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Big knee there. Nice. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. He'll engage in a single collar tie. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. You got to whip his hip into that kick. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, huge block! Real quick leg kick. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, single collar tie here. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. in the game that you'll see right there. Just unable to quite find that range. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Seconds winding down in round two. Good stick. Just misses there with the left. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, DC, buckle Great up. Fight. Here we go with our next Great. round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep 
winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kicks, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, that's a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, straight right. That strike blocked by Lee. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down. So, uh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, look at the redness underneath that left elbow. He is badgering that left side of the body. Hands up, hands up. Now a knee. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Good one. See, you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Boy, Thai Club. Such a fast leg kick. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight. And that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. Oh, stuff the takedown oh, without issue. Oh, wow. And this might just be a matter of time. Wow. wow. 90 seconds now to go in the round. to the feet now. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Oh, he dove and he lands, wow! Oh, he gets back up, but barely. Look how wobbly he is. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Ooh, big shot lands. Landed that knee to the midsection. Got to think his opponent's going to feel that one in the morning. And he's going to continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of them. Watch these to the body. That was a thudding leg kick. Man, how good is his right hook count? Lee going for the leg kick. He misses. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on them. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the world. How about those five minutes? Marching
there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. You have the power to put anybody away. This round, let's go back to the same game plan. I want you to see. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to log the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fight. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking gear tonight. Oh, big punch lands. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Well, a case of pick your poison here. If you drop the elbow defensively to lessen the body damage, you open yourself up upstairs. He is in some serious trouble now. Nice defense there, huge block. They continue to exchange. Nice sneaky head kick. Unable to connect there. Hey, oh. Take shot. And now he's hooked. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, if you in the night, that will land it right on the spot. Knee to the body. Right hand punch. Oh. Play. Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Just misses with the straight right. Beautiful strike. Popping the shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Ooh, blocks the shot. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed without. Oh, big head kick. Try to establish that jab. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. The official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 55 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight. I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent.